what I was going to do is show this Hello World sample, which is currently in a PR. So this is the pull request, and I'll put a link to the, There's a link to this in the in the slide deck, and. So I wanted to show what I've been building and just kind of give some background about where this came from. Uh, and I'd be kind of curious to get some feedback around this. So we've had this article on, uh, which is basically just the overview of the Office add-ins platform. And one of the things it says, it talks about how an Office add-in is basically a manifest, uh, which you can see in this image here on the left side. It's like, hey, it's just a manifest and it's a web page and those two things together. Uh, make an app. And a few months ago, Martin Van Stam was doing a Twitch live stream and doing some exploration of our getting started docs. Um, and one thing he noticed or, or kind of noted about it is that we don't really have the canonical hello world, which is implied here, you know, in a picture, but we don't really have a code sample that does that. Our quick starts will take you through like using Yo Office. And I do remember the first time I ever used YoOffice, it threw me off a little bit just because you get a lot of files. You know, there's a Webpack build, there's your package JSON and all this other stuff. And the, the first thing I had to do is kind of figure out what, what parts of it are Office add-in and what parts of it are just web server pieces and it takes a little bit of exploration. So I thought, I wonder if I could create the world's simplest Office add-in. Basically, is it possible to really just have an XML manifest and a web page? And then would that be useful to someone if they really just wanted to see what are the fundamental pieces of an office add-in? Would that be helpful to them as maybe alongside your office uh, builds or in addition to? And so what I have, let me just kind of show the code here real quick, just on the left side here. So this is basically the project and it has four different samples. So there's one for each Office applications. There's one for Excel and Outlook and PowerPoint and Word. And in each of these is a manifest and an HTML file. And there's actually two manifests. And this is sort of one of my questions. The, the first manifest actually will just run straight from GitHub because these are all hosted on GitHub pages. So you can see this link is pointing to my fork right now. So it goes to my David Chestnut account to the Office add-ins repo, samples, hello world, and so on. And these all load. Uh, if I go, let me switch over to um, my developer tenant here. And like if I go into Word, I've actually already loaded this up from that manifest. And when I open the hello world application, you can see it has, let me just drop this down. You can see it has an image. So I did discover I don't know, maybe you could do this without an image, but I don't think it makes sense. I, I think to be complete, you really need some kind of image there. So in addition to the XML file and the task pane, you should also have an image. Um, and then when you open this up, you can click on say hello and it inserts the text hello world into the document. And this works across, you know, each of these. So I can go into PowerPoint and also say hello and it inserts it. So that manifest XML, that's the one that's pointing to GitHub so that these will all work and you don't have to set up a web server, which is nice. Now, if you do want to set up a web server and you might want to do that, if maybe you want to change the code, maybe I want this to say, instead of hello world, maybe just say, hey everybody. <laughs> yeah. But if I want to run this and actually see that change, I'm gonna to have to have my own web server now because I can't upload that to GitHub. And at least not this repo. You could upload to your own repo, but not not the Office Dev one. So that's what this localhost one is for, and it just runs off localhost 3000. And in that case, in the README, there's a section that walks you through how to set up this HTTP server. You then have to install the dev certificates, and then you can run it by loading those dev certificates. And this is one of those questions where I'm like, is this too complex? Like. Maybe I shouldn't have this in here. So I'm still kind of thinking through if this makes sense for someone who's totally new to give them this option of setting up your own server. It can be useful if you want to play with the code a bit. Now, in terms of the code, what I think is interesting, if like let's go back just to Excel, you can go through the manifest and say, okay, this is one of the fundamental pieces. I have this manifest. Its purpose is to describe my add-in to Office. So it has a unique identifier. 
some version info, what's the name of the provider, you know, probably your company name. You can give it a display name and a description. These are things that will display when it first loads into the document and so on. And so this is pretty much as small as I can make it. I'm going to make another pass through this. There might be a few more things I can get out of this because my goal is to try to have as few as lines of code as possible just to see how simple this can be. And then the task pane this is a combination of HTML and script. So the fundamental pieces here for a beginner are you've got to load the Office JS library. That's what this script takes doing here. Then I have the body, which is just the hello button. And then you have to call office.onready so that you know that the library is loaded. Here we just do a check to make sure we're in the correct host because this is designed for Excel. So we want to make sure we're not in Word or PowerPoint or something else somehow. And then we uh, wire up the on click event of that button to the say hello function and then down in the say hello function we're calling the excel api run and we're going to basically get the active worksheet get the a1 range set the value to well hello world basically i already changed this and then we'd want to call context sync to actually dispatch that command to office so it runs and then we return and that's it that this is like as far as I know, the most fundamental Office add-in you can make. And it's different, you know, like if I go look at the Outlook one, which also has, oh, by the way, this Assets folder is your icon that you need to have. Like the task pane for Outlook is very similar, but the code will change in terms of how to say hello. Like in this case, we have to get a mailbox item and then set the body. Um, similarly, in PowerPoint, it's going to be using this set selected data async. So it's kind of interesting just to compare and contrast. Obviously, you know, each host is a different type of thing that you talk to, you know, because spreadsheets are cells and PowerPoint is slides. So there's, this is why I had to create a different, you know, different sample for each host. So yeah, let me know in the web chat what you think or go to the poll, the pull request here if you want to comment on it. I'm going to be making some more updates and probably get this published near the end of the week, perhaps.